What's going on Guardians? This is Corman here, bringing you the final video on how to solo Shattered Throne. As you can see, we're still using our Nova Warp with a Healing Rift. We're using Luna Faction Boots. I'm using a Chattering Bone Pulse Rifle. I'm using a Iclo Shotgun. I wouldn't necessarily recommend a shotgun. You could stick with the Auto Rifle, a Pulse Rifle, or even a Hand Cannon. And I'm using Whisper of the Worm, which I highly recommend using for this fight. And with that, let's get right into it. So what I do is once you have your super, I push over here to this side and I use it to clear these ads. Once you have them cleared, you just go right on across. You want to kill all of the scions. You don't want to leave one because they start to multiply pretty rapidly. I switch to Whisper, I begin just doing damage to the knights. I recommend waiting for Whispered Breathing, as well as landing all of your headshots. Usually about one shot gets them to start disappearing if you do have Whispered Breathing active. I like to stay in these hallways, the one here and the one directly across the way. As you can see, Dalankaru's Blasts are blocked by the wall. The only thing that gets a little tricky is sometimes it's hard to spot the knights. You do have to be careful. Every now and then, they do get stuck behind that object in the middle of the room. Now, tip. If you land two of the crits and need to land a third, but they're gone, if you shoot Dolan Karu in the face, it still counts for the white male. You'll want to try to focus on the knights and get them all around the same health. I try to keep them around a third. And now we've moved on. Dolokaru's conjured the object in the back of the room, which shields the knights from taking any kind of damage. Now I know this is a little cheesy, but my strat is to wait for my super. Now with the knights stuck behind that object across from you, if you hug this wall and you are not seen by Dolankaru or the other knight, you do go unnoticed for a short amount of time. Now you'll want to pay attention to the knights. Once they disappear that first time is when they begin to push you. As they start moving forward, all I do is jump to the back and then jump to the opposite side. This is the direction that I prefer to jump because from that side to where we enter, it's a pretty sketchy jump that you don't always make. You have to rely on grappling. And I think we all know how unreliable grappling is. And just like with the other side, on this side, if you hug this wall, Dolankaru's blast cannot hit you. Once they get close, I just jump to the back again and jump to the opposite side. Now if you're not patient enough for this strategy, what you can do is when you destroy the crystal, you just go ahead and throw a grenade on one side of the Scions to make sure you kill them all as they spawn in, and then just focus fire on the other side.
when they are in this state with the helmet on, wherever they disappear is usually where they reappear. Since the two were stuck on that object in the center of the room, I went ahead and stayed in the back, hoping that they'd move away from the object. Now that we have our super, just drop our rift and fire at the crystal. It does take quite a few shots. Once the crystal's gone, go ahead and super, take out the silence. Now you can see that some of the scions did get away, and you can see how quickly they begin to multiply. To take too much damage, go ahead and jump to the back. And then continue just popping shots at the knights. I do recommend making sure that they keep their helmets. If you do have to jump to the side with Dalvin Karu, I do recommend leaving immediately. Just enough to get the knights to move. As you can see, there are still scions. And with them still standing, it does cut into the damage phase that you have for the knights. As you can see, I was still focusing on the ads, so they did become immune again. So all I do is sit and wait for my super. Some of the knights, you'll notice, no longer have a helmet. So they do move a lot faster, and they are way more aggressive. When they don't have the helmet on, when they disappear, they do have the ability to re reappear right on top of you. As you can see at that point, I realized these knights became too aggressive and were waiting for me. So I went ahead and made the long jump. As you can see, if it were not for the grapple, we would have fell. So I just stand here in this corner where they can't see me. And then I begin to shoot the crystal when I know I'm going to have super. The one knight pushed me, so I jumped over here with Dalin Kari. And then I jumped to the back. And while they're on the opposite side, I went ahead and took out the crystal. I would recommend hip firing if they don't have a helmet on, so that way you can see your radar and see when they're coming for you. Now that it's gone, I jumped over to the other side and I used my super. And since the knights were all low enough and grouped together, I went ahead and used my super to take them out with the ads. Make sure you pick up all three buffs Switch to your Whisper. If you have the Catalyst, I highly recommend waiting for Whisper Breathing. As you can see, you do max damage. And then you go ahead and you just melt Dolan Karu. 
And that is how you solo the Dolan Karu fight and finish soloing the Shattered Throne.